You're watching Warriors Today by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior. Are you having a good week? Are you having a good day? Do you want your weeks and your days to be better? You can get your days off to a great start thanks to Magic Spoon. It's the healthiest cereal out there, and it tastes great. And you can get $5 off at checkout by going to magicspoon.com warriors. That link is in the description as well as the comment section of this video. Use that link and get the hot deal right now. Enjoy some cereal, and it's still healthy. We'll tell you more about it coming up. Kavon Looney is returning to Golden State. According to Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN, Looney returning to the Warriors because he exercised his $5.1 million option to come back for the 2021-2022 season. That means that he will become a free agent after this upcoming year. This is a move that I actually really like because it gives the Warriors a lot of front court depth. And if they do elect to trade James Wiseman, Kevon Looney can still play a critical role on this team. And he's played a big role for this franchise during some critical games and series during the Warriors finals run. Let's take a look at what he did in 2020-2021 because Kevon Looney isn't a guy who's going to dominate you night in, night out in the post and put up monster numbers, but he's a productive player who serves an important role as a backup center and depth piece on a team, especially next year, that I think is going to get back to competing for NBA championships, especially if Klay Thompson comes back healthy. 19 minutes per game this past year, little more than four points, north of five rebounds. He shot a very efficient, nearly 55% from the floor. And I talk about all of the great qualities that Kevon Looney possesses. It's really the efficiency from the floor. It's been the case since he was drafted 30th overall back a couple of seasons ago. His six seasons with Golden State, you're looking at a guy who, given that he was drafted in the final pick of the first round, has been a productive player for this Warriors franchise who's played a big role in some monster games. 15 minutes per game throughout his last six seasons of his NBA career, 4.3 points, 5.3 rebounds, shooting nearly 57% from the floor, has leadership qualities about him, isn't a guy who's going to cost all that much, and is really a valuable roti rotation piece excuse me, for a team that really needs it in the front court spot. If you move forward with James Wiseman, and he is your starting center this upcoming season, you bring Kevon Looney off the bench, given his experience and his value, it's a great backup center. But if you elect to uh, trade James Wiseman, and you want Looney to be either a guy who can plug and play as a starter or come off the bench. He serves a valuable role there as well, and he's been a valuable player on some title teams. You go back to when the Warriors were competing and winning NBA championships, Looney played in some big games. He was on the court for some critical moments. He never seems to be phased by the moment. He's a good pick-and-roll defender. He can handle switches. He can defend bigs out to the three-point arc. And he's continued a little bit offensively to grow his offensive game. And he's starting to attempt some more three-point shots as well. And I think that growth and development is going to continue. And I think that's a big reason why he decided to return to Golden State. Because he's seen throughout his six seasons in the NBA, there's been a role for him within this franchise. They have a plan for him. He's also developed. And he thinks that his ceiling is pretty high within this organization as well. Most importantly, he's coming back at around what, $5 million? He's an affordable player at this point of his career as well. And given everything that I've said about Kevon Looney, to pay him only $5 million, I think this is an important signing. It's a quality signing for Golden State. They plug a position of need, and they bring it back at good value with Kevon Looney. So tell me, Warriors fans, I know you love your homegrown talent. Are you happy that Looney is returning to the Warriors? Get your votes in the comment section. Type Y for yes or type N for no. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's YouTube video. So if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, it's a perfect opportunity to scroll down and get your votes in. By the time you do, we'll be back rocking and rolling here on Warriors Today. Today's show is presented by our friends at Magic Spoon. You can get $5 off at checkout by going to magicspoon.com slash warriors. It is the healthiest, tastiest, and most protein-packed cereal out there on the market, and they have a bevy of delicious flavors. Fruity, cocoa, but my personal favorite, peanut butter. Now, here's a reason why you should hop on board the Magic Spoon train. The Magic Spoon peanut butter version so much more healthier and tastier than the leaning, leading peanut butter brand out there on the market right now. And let's compare them. 
So Magic Spoon cereal, per serving, you get 14 grams of protein compared to 2 grams of protein. It's not even a comparison. 4 grams of net carbs as compared to 26 grams of net carbs. 0 grams of sugar compared to 11 grams of sugar. It's also grain-free and gluten-free, whereas the other brands are not. It's high in protein, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, totally delicious. It's childlike cereal for grown-ups. So one once again, you can get $5 off by going to magicspoon.com slash warriors. That link to help you get your health in line is in the description as well as the comment section of this video. $5 off for the best and healthiest cereal out there. It's a no-brainer. I eat Magic Spoon cereal. You should as well. Utilize that deal and get your health in line. Are the Warriors going to go after Pascal Siakam this NBA offseason? Looks as though that could be a rumor. That maybe happens, according to the Athletics' John Hollinger. He said a name to watch for the Warriors this offseason is Pascal Siakam of the Toronto Raptors. He mentioned that the Warriors could package James Wiseman, as well as the number seven overall pick in the 2021 NBA draft, and net Siakam. Here's the thing, though. The Warriors would need to free up money in order to absorb his salary, which we'll explore here coming up. Here's what Hollinger had to say on The Athletic in this report. There is widespread expectation that the Warriors will use number seven and James Wiseman in particular to seek more immediate upgrades to the roster. One name to watch, Pascal Siakam. So here's the trade idea I cooked up in order to make contracts and the money work. The Warriors would receive Pascal Siakam and Rodney Hood. The Raptors would get back James Wiseman as well as Andrew Wiggins because his contract is worth north of $30 million. So too is Siakam's. This past year, his numbers were pretty good, just not as good as they were a season ago when he was one of the best developmental stories across the NBA ever since Masai Ujiri identified him as a prospect coming out of Cameroon. 21.4 points per game, 7-plus rebounds. He shot 45.5% from the field, which is a solid and efficient number. But his three-point percentage this year went down from 35% to under 30%. And he's a very expensive player, too, because the Raptors gave him, gave him that long-term max contract. This upcoming season, he's going to make $33 million. He got the bag, no doubt. The season after that, he's on the books for $35.5 million. And the season after that, in 2023-24, on the books for a base salary of $37.8 million. That's why the Warriors would have to trade away Andrew Wiggins and his salary of north of $30 million in order to bring back Siakam on this contract. The good part, you have him under team control for the next few seasons. The bad part, he's somewhat expensive. And is he going to be that player that he was along alongside Kawhi Leonard and Kyle Lowry when the Raptors beat the Warriors in the NBA Finals back a couple years ago. Here's why I like it, though. Siakam would be a perfect fit. I don't think he's a number one option. Here's the thing, though. He wouldn't have to be on the Warriors right now with the current construction of this roster with Steph Curry balling out like he did, like Klay Thompson coming back. You still have Draymond Green. Siakam, his offensive skill set, his defensive prowess would fit in perfectly as a third fourth option on this roster right now. So I would certainly, if I'm Bob Myers, think about pulling the trigger on this deal for the right price. I have sat here on Warriors today and said, look, James Wiseman, he was a teenager last year. He's still a really young player. He's somewhat immature. He has to develop. But there have certainly been flashes of him living up to the expectations of being that number two pick back two drafts ago. I'd think about it for the right price. I'd probably pass on the deal, but Siakam would be really, really intriguing because of his all-around game, his continued growth as a player, his potential, and the fact that he wouldn't have to be the number one option on this roster because you still have Steph Curry playing like an MVP. So do you want the Warriors to trade for Siakam? It's a simple question, but it would certainly send ripple effects across the league. Type T for trade, type P for pass. Be sure to get your votes in in the comment section down below. Right now, I'll go ahead and submit my P for pass, but I would certainly think about typing that T. One more note before we head out. Golden State Warriors have made a lot of changes to their coaching staff this offseason. They are considering, according to reports, bringing in Lloyd Pierce as an assistant to Steve Kerr. He was, of course, the head coach for the Atlanta Hawks, 
before he was let go. The Hawks ended up bringing in Nate McMillan, who's been a great coach for the Hawks, as they are a couple wins away from possibly making it to the NBA Finals. Currently down in that series, 2-1 to the Milwaukee Bucks, but maybe Steve Kerr could round out that coaching staff by bringing in Lloyd Pierce. He was rumored to be in the mix for a couple of head coaching jobs. Doesn't look as though he is going to land one of those head gigs. Maybe he lands as an assistant in Golden State.